This is the story of my family, as my mother told it to me as a boy. Starting with my grandparents, their adventures as frontier journalists, the opening of the West, our United Empire Loyalist ancestors, losing everything in the American Revolution. And even earlier, across an ocean on the edge of memory, men and women burned off their land in the highland clearances, loaded onto the emigrant ships. We married into the Kerwin family, magistrates in the Salem witch trials, supporters of the king and the American Revolution. The Americans branded the family traitors. We lost everything. We'd have to pull up our roots once again, emigrate to Nova Scotia and then Upper Canada. My grandmother, Gertrude Hogg, was put in a convent at the age of five. When she emerged a young woman, she played piano with the Toronto Symphony and fell in love with Arthur Bomber Watt. Like thousands of other immigrants, they decided to head west. Balmer arrived in Edmonton the day Alberta became a province. As editor of the Edmonton Journal, he challenged the press censorship laws of William Aberhart, the social credit premier of Alberta. Aberhart threatened to throw him in jail, but he stood his ground and was awarded the first Pulitzer Prize outside the United States. Immigration is never a simple matter. One uprooting can easily become many. As my grandmother said, our family was kicked out of most every place they'd ever been before they settled in Alberta. Le village of Canada, it fulfilled my duties as a Canadian citizen. 